Hi, I'm James L. Berry, and I'm an illustrator for the Warriors comic series. And today I'll be drawing Feathertail. So Feathertail is the newest character in the Warriors comic series. She is the daughter of Greystripe and Silverstream. So she has characteristics and features of both. So just like when I draw any character, any cat, I start off with a circle and I draw some lines around that circle to indicate which direction I want the character to be looking. And so I draw a circle down the middle, I mean a line down the middle, and a line that goes across that circle. And then it helps me place the muzzle where her nose and mouth are. Okay, after that we have some ears, just like all cats have pointy ears. And I start to sort of indicate the shape of the face. She has some tufts of fur on her cheeks and a squared off chin. And then I use those lines to help figure out where I'm going to place her eyes. And coming forward from the eyes around the second circle, I draw lines that go towards the nose, a little triangle shape for the nose. So at this point, I could turn this into pretty much any cat, um, but it's the details that make Feathertail unique. She has big eyes with dark lines around the top and little tufts of fur that kind of look like eyelashes that reflect the eyes that her mother had. Sort of a combination of characteristics from Greystripe and Silverstream. She also has a little tuft of fur on her head, like gray stripe, but it's a little softer, more of a curl. She's a long-haired cat, too, like gray stripe. And then she has nice furry cheeks, squared off chin, and sketch in her eyes. She has a body similar to her dad's, thick fur. Okay, so we have a loose sketch of Feathertail. So now I can go back and add the detail, either with a pen or a marker. So I'm gonna go around the outline of her head just to kind of clean up those lines a bit. I'm going to indicate the little tufts of fur around her eyes on the far side that, that sort of extend beyond the shape of her head. Okay, so then she has that squared off chin. So we have the little tuft of fur on top of her head. So I'm going to just indicate that for now. Get back to that later and add some detail. And the nice thing about starting off with a thinner line is that I can go back with my thicker pen and clean that up if I made any mistakes. All right. So we have the outline of her head, so now I can go back on the inside and start adding more detail. The little tufts of fur around her eyes, just some dark lines around them. I'm gonna go back and fill all that in later, but I'm just indicating it for now. All right, so some lines that come forward from her eyes towards the nose. And then I'm gonna define the shape of that nose. It's not just a simple triangle shape. She has little nostrils. Okay, so I'm gonna use a solid line to indicate the muzzle on the far side. It goes around her face. Okay, so now I'm going to use a slightly thinner pen to indicate the bridge of her nose and the near side of the muzzle. 
And I'm gonna add some more lines for a little, the little tuft of fur on her head. Maybe some fur around her cheeks. So once I've sort of cleaned this up a little bit, I can erase my pencil sketch. And use a different pen to add any more little details, some tufts of fur in her ears. She also has uh, some little markings on her forehead, sort of like comma shapes. Then I'm going to go around it with my thickest pen, sort of indicate some shadows or thicker lines around the edges. A little shadow underneath that tuft of fur on her head. All right, some shadows in the ears. When you're using a pen, it's usually easier if you move down instead of trying to move up. Make your lines going down. And I can fill in some of this sketchy line work. Clean up those lines around her eyes. And last but not least, we don't want to forget the whiskers on the side of her face. And there we have our drawing of Feathertail.